We're going to still love him and coach him. That's all we can do. I mean, they can't let him keep getting thrown out of the game for just being an idiot. Well, I'm sitting on the bench with a necktie and a suit on. Uh, uh, I, I can't get there that quick. <laughs> yeah, I want you to physically grab him. I, but, I mean, you got to try to get to him. Oh, we, we do everything that we can possibly do in this organization. We're not just sitting there whistling Dixie and watching him blow up. We are communicating, talking with him, everything. Some guys just have it like that. And sometimes it takes a while, a situation, a person grows out of it. You know, it takes time. You know, we have a lot of guys in our league that have, it, it's taking some time. And um, what, what you have to do as an organization, me as a coach, um, I'll keep doing the same thing, coaching them all the way through every situation. Uh, life situations as much as we possibly can. We have a 100% working organization that's trying to do the best for all our players. You see some hope in him? Oh, yeah. Man? Hey, you can't say a man who's 22 don't have any hope. Man has hope. We got He's 22. We're trying to get him through there. We don't want to say kick the guy to the curb because there's no hope. You know, So many people would not be in the position they're in now if people just gave up on him and said there is no hope. Well, that doesn't work with me here. So maybe there have been some other people that gave up hope. That's not me. Coach, what did you see in that ejection, and what was the explanation that was given to you? Again, I was on the bench down there with a necktie and a suit. So what happened there, I realized it was a foul, then it was a technical. The second one, by the time I'm trying to figure out what happened with the first one, I'm asking the ref what, what did he say on the first one. The next thing I know, I saw guys sprinting off the floor. So, you know, it's over. It happened. We move on, and we get ready for our next game. He, he didn't give you any explanation? Who? The ref? Uh, Zelensky or anything? No, I don't, don't talk to those guys. You know, it costs you. There's big money to talk to those guys. <laughs> Talk to after the game? Oh, no, right now you don't. You don't put. Cool. You let let it simmer. You know, let it simmer, and then uh, when we come back together and work on Monday, uh, then we'll um, you know talk about things. But we'll talk about the game. I don't like to go back and talk about the situation, uh, what has happened. I mean, sometimes you you're in the the throes of an issue. The more you can do is keep bringing attention to it. You know, hey, it happened. You got thrown out the game. Hey. What did you see when you saw Cuz go out? Did that catch you a little surprise? Uh, yeah, I was off guard, you know, I was looking, talking to coach, and the next thing you know, the ref was throwing him out the game. I don't know what he said or what happened, but he's got to be smart, you know. You know, you need him in games like this, you know, and uh, he's been playing good for us, so he just got to be smart. How was this demeanor coming back in here when you get a chance to talk to him? He was cool. I mean, he was a little upset, but, I mean, it's basketball, you know, uh, you know, just get back to work, you know, on Monday, you know, and then try to get another win.